What's up everybody? Gridbot Guru here. Going to talk to you finally about the rebalancing bot, okay? It has been a long time coming and I have kind of stayed away from it because I was not 100% sure on how I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, however, I am I am ready to talk some more on it, okay? So, we are working with Pinex. Again, if you are not part of Pinex, please click the link below. Click that link, sign up. Let me know, and I'll get you help. To, I'll help you out um, getting started with some of these today. Okay, I'm getting lots of messages on Telegram. I'm on there on Discord. Um, send me a DM if you are um, having any trouble whatsoever. Send me a DM. If not, you can tag me on one of those. And if I can't find the answer, I will find somebody to help you out. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started with a rebalancing bot. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I got my Bitcoin here. I got my other, my bots down here. Um, what I am going to end up doing is I'm going to click right here where it says create a rebalancing bot. You can also do this on the app. Okay. I feel like it's going to be easier on here and I'm going to show you a couple different tricks. You have two choices. You can do a dual coin rebalancing bot, which means you have two coins or you can do a multi coin rebalancing bot personally. I would always choose a multi coin, but if you are a person who say you want to use the famous tried and true Bitcoin ETH rebalancing bot, you can do it. Okay. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go and I'm going to give you guys some tricks for the multi coin. All right. The first thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to pick coins that you trust okay so you're going to want to pick coins that you feel like are a good current investment and will be profitable in the future so whether or not you have to wait a year two years or three years you still want to make sure those coins are going up the next thing you want to think about is that Bitcoin, I know some people are going to end up saying that this is probably bad advice, but Bitcoin is king. So you're going to want to think about what people are wanting to trade Bitcoin with and also what people are wanting to um, buy Bitcoin with. All right. And you're also going to want to think about how to trade without using USDT, okay? And I'm gonna explain that here in a second. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'll do like five coins. And I'm going to go up here, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna go up there yet. Um, I'm going to do five coins. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to pick five coins that I trust. All right. So I'm going to kick, I'm going to click on add coins. Um, you have top cap coins right here. You have others. So personally, I like ADA. I think it'll do well in the future. Um, and this is not financial advice. Um, you know, I feel like you always have to say that everybody always says that I'm not your financial advisor. Um, don't do what I do. Do your own research. Um, what's another one I would like to trade? Oh, I got one that I'm, I'm liking right now. So another bot that I have going, um, um, EOS. I like that one. And let's look for another one that would be cool to maybe trade with. Um, 
you know what? I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go to Matic. A lot of people are like a Matic right now. All right. So those are going to be the three. I told you I'm going to do five. Those are going to be three that I use. Now, I'm also going to try to get Bitcoin. And I'm also going to try to get ETH. All right. Now, the reason why I have done it like I've done. All right. Bitcoin is king. So if Bitcoin is going up more than likely, you are going to end up having another one that needs to, or that goes up as well. So some of these will probably go up also. You can adjust your um, how much percentage you want. So I could put 10% there, but then I'm also going to need to auto adjust some of the other ones as well. So you see that that one already went to 30. So I could do that one 10. I could do that one 15. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and put 20 here. Oops, not 210, 20. And I'm going to adjust that back down. Now, the reason why I put Bitcoin and ETH here is because, again, one, Bitcoin is king. But here's the thing. I'm going to go over here to trade. Nope, not trade. I'm going to go to market. All right. You can trade everything with USDT. Everything can be traded with USDT. But if I go to Bitcoin, all right, um, and I do, let's see, ADA. So I got ADA BTC. I got ADA ETH. What was the other one? Um, EOS. EOS. Do I have EOS on Bitcoin? There, I had to click on it. All right, I have EOS Bitcoin and EOS ETH. All right. Let's see about Matic. Matic Bitcoin, Matic BNB, all right? That's a perfect one, okay? So here's the thing. If you don't have Bitcoin, if you don't have ETH, you don't have a middleman, okay? So, for example, let's look. Let's look at the, what was it? Um, so I could do Matic ETH. So if I went and I did, let me go back to trade. Now I'm going to do a rebalancing bot, but I'm only going to use dual coin mode. So if I go to um, Matic. Right, and I click ETH. All right, I can't trade Matic with ETH. So this is where it kind of gets confusing. This is where people kind of, they, they lose out on potential profits because they're not choosing the right pairs. In order to get my Matic to go to ETH, I have to have a middleman. So that Matic has to be sold into USDT then that USDT has to buy the ETH and it goes the opposite way. So you are selling Matic into USDT and then buying USDT into ETH. That's two transactions, okay? As opposed to if I have Matic to Bitcoin, I can trade Matic straight to Bitcoin and Bitcoin straight to Matic. That's a one transaction. All right, again, I'm going to go to market. And if we go to Matic, I can't go from Matic to ETH. So I have to do one of two things, Matic to BNC, BTC, BTC to ETH, or Matic to USDT, USDT to ETH. All right, so be mindful of which coins you put into your rebalancing bot all right now like like i had earlier okay i've 
feel like the setup I had earlier, I had more than enough to be able to switch it around because that Matic could go into the BTC and then that BTC could then change it to ETH. That's all within my bot. But I want you guys to make sure you're not picking just like um, uh, TRX, Flow, EOS, okay? You're, if you have those three, TRX, Flow, and EOS, you're going to have to sell it to USDT, BTC, or ETH to get it to go to the other one. So you're doing two transactions as opposed to just one. So be mindful that you either throw Bitcoin in or ETH in as well. That's my personal, personal two cents. All right. All right, everybody. So again, that's your rebalancing bot. I'm hoping that that makes sense to you. Um, it can be really, really good, especially for somebody who's just wanting to kind of sit off on the sidelines and let the bot do its own thing. All right. All right, everybody. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that you guys are um, going to have a great day. Hope you guys stay green. And again, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Again, this is my understanding of the rebalancing bot. I believe that is how it works. So I may be taking this video down if it's not how it works, but that's my understanding of it. All right. All right. I hope that helps everybody out. And I want everyone, again, stay green and have a great day.